Let's talk myths and science of jade yoni eggs, aka the best tool in the world for pelvic strength, pleasure, and reconnection. This here <laughs> is the most powerful tool on the planet to strengthen your pelvic floor, have more orgasms, have better orgasms, multiple orgasms, G-spot orgasms, cervical orgasms, ejaculating orgasms that hit the ceiling. This is how you can keep your internal organs, i.e. no pelvic organ prolapse. You can have an easier childbirth and recover more quickly afterward. You up your libido because when a vagina is is weak, it feels numb, and sex is infinitely more pleasurable with a sensitive and articulate vagina. You eliminate issues of urinary incontinence, and you lubricate easily. Having a strong vagina increases blood flow and circulation. More circulation equals lubrication, and it enables you to integrate your sexual energy into everything you do. When women are dissociated from their vaginas, they are also cut off from the natural and enlivening flow of their sexual energy. When the vagina is brought back to life, that vital life force energy is available to you to channel into all parts of your existence. And it gives you a natural facelift because when you strengthen and pull up the pelvic floor muscles, you create an energetic lift throughout the entire body, which even registers in your face. And I have had clients stop using Botox after beginning their vaginal weightlifting practice with a jade egg. So what is not normal but has become normalized is vaginas and other internal organs falling out and women peeing their pants when they laugh or they sneeze or they exercise on or just get on a trampoline with their kids. This is not normal. No, not in any sense of the word. The Yale University School of Medicine states that up to 60% of women have urinary incontinence issues and 50% of women after childbirth suffer some kind of pelvic organ prolapse, otherwise known as POP. These statistics are insane. My assertion is that the normal, healthy baseline for vaginal strength is to be able to shoot ping pong balls, shoot darts, and open beer bottles if you so desire. The idea of vaginal strengthening has existed at least in Eastern cultures for millennia. The Taoists in China practiced pelvic strengthening 5,000 years ago, and the time-honored tradition in Thailand and on certain Indonesian islands for having vaginal dexterity is also rooted in the wisdom that vaginas need exercise. Just like any other part of the body, if they don't get it, they atrophy. It's that simple. The first emergence of this idea of pelvic strengthening in the Western world came from Dr. Arnold Kegel in 1947. He witnessed so many women in his practice with urinary incontinence issues, and so he developed an exercise program for vaginas that would strengthen the pelvic floor. These exercises involved contracting and releasing around an internal device called a Kegel perineometer. And through this practice, his patients had a 90 percent success rate in the treatment of urinary incontinence. 90 percent. What passes as a Kegel exercise these days isn't even a Kegel. It's a diluted Kegel. When people, especially uneducated and under fucked OBGYNs, tell you to Kegel and just flap your vagina randomly in the wind, it's useless. I have never met a single woman who has ever had any benefit from simply flapping her vagina in the wind. But when I get them to use a jade yoni egg, they have immediate results. I have seen women who have suffered from urinary incontinence for decades have it reverse in one week. Women who had no orgasms ever now have G-spot orgasms and tear-inducing cervical orgasms. Postmenopausal women in their 60s who were terrified of the idea of going on hormones, and rightly so, to bring their juiciness back are now gushing puddles of self-lubricating fluids. Yep, all from the jade egg. A few years ago, there was an uproar in the press because there was an underfucked and sexually inexperienced OBJYN yelling at goo. Anyway, this person went on, more like an internet troll, went on the offense around jade eggs and saying that there was no science behind them. 
And that's like saying that because you did a study about running and the runners in the study were wearing Nike shoes and Adidas shoes, but not New Balance shoes, then the study is totally inconclusive when it comes to New Balance shoes. It's fucking ridiculous. So in the same breath, this internet troll also talks about the effectiveness of using vaginal weights. Um, I guess you know nothing about vaginas because jade yoni eggs are vaginal weights. And there are plenty of studies on the efficacy of vaginal weights. So anyway, vaginal weights and vaginal strengthening are endorsed by all OBGYNs, which means that the jade egg, since it is also a vaginal weight, is endorsed by all OBGYNs. Because some OBGYNs slash pharmaceutical whores don't like the idea of you taking your health and your healing into your own hands, they try to pretend that somehow these jade yoni eggs aren't vaginal weights, or they try to spread this idea thinking that I guess people are so ignorant ignorant about things, all things vaginal, that they'll just believe them and that you should buy their vaginal weights instead. It's so silly and corrupt, but anyway, that's what happens when you're under fucked. So myth number one is that the jade egg is porous and dangerous to put into the vagina because it can harbor bacteria. No, not true. It's a solid, completely im penetrable, non-porous, carved and polished stone. It's solid and hard. And there are far more porous and bacteria-laden objects that go inside vaginas like penises and hands. <laughs> we don't sterilize those before sex, do we? All that the jade egg needs is a little bit of soap and water before and after its use and you are good to go. Myth number two, wearing your egg all day or sleeping with it is a good thing. Nope, that isn't how you build strength, by wedging an egg up your vagina for hours at a time or wearing it to yoga class or doing your shopping with it. The best way to use the yoni egg is as a conscious exercise. So it's just like going to the gym. When you lift weights, you'll do 45 minutes of dedicated exercises with very deliberate sets and reps and rest times, and then you go about your day. You don't just go to the gym and stand there all day and stare at the weights. So so the best use of the egg is in 10 to 15 minute sessions three to four times a week. Don't sleep with it inside, it's heavy and it can squash your delicate vaginal tissues. These days, because there are so many egg sellers out there on the internet who have no idea how to use the jade egg, they tell people to do things like this, to sleep with it or to wear it all day. Nope. Myth number three, something an OBGYN could give you is better than a jade egg. Well, 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 let's talk about this. Here's how they compare. The typical obsolete OBGYN approach is to sew plastic mesh into the vagina and the abdomen to treat incontinence and POP by um, holding things up with this mesh, except that these devices were never tested on humans. <laughs> they were tested on a handful of sheep, and then they were sewn into women all over the world. And now there are hundreds of thousands of class action lawsuits taking on the manufacturers of this mesh because women have been left with this plastic breaking down and embedding itself into the vaginal tissues, and it is impossible to remove, say, doctors who specialize in attempting this removal. Women can't have sex anymore because this plastic starts to poke out into their vaginas, into their canals, and causing obviously extreme pain, and their partners have ended up with scratches on their penises from the sharp plastic cutting into their cocks. Let's see, what are the jade egg side effects? Side effects of the jade egg include multiple orgasms, vaginal orgasms, ejaculatory orgasms, increased lubrication, increased libido, an easier childbirth and faster recovery, ecstatic pleasure and sensation, boosted self-confidence, the reversal of urinary incontinence, easier periods, PMS and menopause, and the prevention and reversal of POP. If any allopathic person ever says anything to you about using a jade yoni egg, just say two words to them, pelvic mesh. I did a fabulous podcast on this a few weeks ago called Real Cures versus Obsolete OBGYNs, and I will put the link for that below this video. In the meantime, let's let the vaginas speak for themselves. 
My vagina is woke as fuck. If women practiced Kim's vaginal kung fu salon, there would be a lot less urinary stress and continence and a lot more women with satisfying sex lives. This from OBGYN, one of the skilled ones, Dr. Christian Northrup. An increase in wetness to tsunamic proportions, this is one of my all-time favorite testimonials, had my first G-spot orgasm. Game changing from Dr. Kelly Rogan. Four years into menopause and my moisture and libido has returned. I am leaving puddles everywhere and I want to have sex all the time. Aw, poor thing. Thrilled to no longer have leakage problems. My midwife said I had a superstar vagina and that my birth was so beautiful and gentle. No more pain during intercourse. Easier periods and PMS. Accomplished at the vaginal hand job and much, much more. If you want to see more of these all-star vaginas, head to kimonami.com slash reviews. Do you want a kung fu vagina? An orgasming, lubricating, ejaculating pleasure center that is the compass for your life. My legendary eight week program on how to use the jade egg as well as your ultimate guide to all things vaginal and sexual power is open for registration. Check out the link below this video to sign up.